hi guys welcome to accounting online today I will show you how to clear your uh, net wages and payroll liabilities to HMRC once you have posted your uh, payroll journal so I'll go to my stage quickly and if you go to current liabilities and then payroll and taxation uh, you can see pay is here this is 124.46 and this is national insurance if you remember uh, this is only employee and I and not the employer and I because we uh, we received employment allowance against the employer and I and similarly if you go to wages you will see these are the net wages outstanding okay how to clear of these um, liabilities so I've got this bank statement with me um, assuming that month of April is gone and the company pays all of its all of its employees in the first week of May uh, so these are all the payments made to the uh, employees uh, these are net wages and this is the payment made to HMRC of course HMRC should be paid within 14 days after the tax month and date so for uh, month of April the deadline for making payment to HMRC is 19th of May if company doesn't pay by 19th uh, then it may get uh, interest uh, penalties on the amount unpaid to HMRC okay so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go to uh, Sage and then I'll go to bank account and here uh, we'll make bank payments okay so I'll click on bank payments assuming that all the salaries are being paid with the um, with the bank okay so here I'll put that 5th of May 2017 here you will write April or you can write here salary and this is going to be triple to zero which is the uh, nominal code for net wages department is nothing project office is nothing if you want to just uh, customize this window you can just right click on this gray line and you can just uncheck the boxes we don't need departments we don't need cost codes but we need details so the first payment was made to v week april so i'll write v week april 17 and how much was that and that was 680.33 so that is going to be 680.33 make sure the tax code the vat tax code is t9 because the salary is outside of the scope of VAT. We will discuss more about VAT tax codes, but in my later videos. Okay, the next one is going to be 1200, and this is going to be 5th of May 2017, and this is going to be salary. I'm going to just copy it, Sorry, and I'm going to go here, and salary. This is going to be triple to zero, and the next payment was made to to who? A Christ. I'm going to go to here the A Christ April 17 and this is going to be 680.33 680.33 this is going to be T9 and again 1200 05, 05, 2017 if you press F6 so it will copy the above cell F6 this one the next payment was made to A Sheldon maybe A Sheldon April 17 680.33 T9 then again 1200 if I press F6 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 ok the next one is going to be I George gonna be I April seventeen six eighty point three three and T nine fifth of six of six next one is SF Marina I can write Marina April 2017 680.33 T9 
Okay. So, this is fifth of May, twenty seventeen. Salary triple D. This one triple D zero. The next one, next employee is M C Peter. All right. Peter, April twenty seventeen. Six eighty point three three. This is another T nine. In 1200, 5th of May 2017, salary triple zero. So, triple zero. And employee is Trinity. Trinity, April 2017, 680.33, T9. Okay, so these are the employees with the same salary. I think we have one more, which is Norman. We can go back quickly, and this is 1200, 5th of May, 2017. Salary. Producer. And Norman, April 2017. Three seven nine zero four nine three three seven nine zero five four nine and this is gonna be T nine. Okay, so this is the total and here is the total. Make sure the T tax code is T nine, otherwise they will be appearing in the VAT return, which of course you would not want to um show them in VAT return because these are uh, expenses outside of the scope of VAT. Okay, you can just go back and quickly have a look. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 3, 7, 9, 0, 4, 9. So 7 payments. Mm. 3, 7, 9, 0, 4, 9. Okay, once you are sure that this is the same date and this was paid on 6th of May so I will go back and I will change it to 6th of May 2017 okay and once you are sure that everything is correct uh, I'm gonna just save it once you have saved it you will see the effect here the bank account will be going down of course you have paid the money out of your bank account and if you quickly go back to nominal codes and then current liabilities and then wages and see net wages is zero yep and if you want to see the activity go into activity and you will see all the payments are appearing in the um, net wages account okay this will be this will be important if you are doing your reconciliation of liabilities account at the month end okay now there is one um, there is taxes payment to be left to HMRC and we could see we can see in the bank statement that HMRC was paid on 8th of May for 1626.18 okay 1626.18 so if I put 1626.18 okay and this one 1224.46 1224.46 was paid and if I do this one Okay, so this is going to be same. So I will quickly go back to Sage again and bank accounts and then bank payment. So this was paid on 8th of May 2017. This is going to be HMRC and nominal code for pay is 2210. So this is pay April 2017. And how much was that? It was 1224.46. 1224.46. This is going to be T9 again. Make sure you put the right tax code. And HMRC and nominal code for NI is 2211. So this is going to be EENI April 2017. And how much was that? This is 401.72. So we do 401.72, and this is going to be T9. 
Okay, once you hear this 